Hi, my name is Mark Kemsley. We're talking about doing business in China and follow-up on a business deal is something that's important that you need to understand. Sometimes you cannot in China follow up as directly as you can in the United States. Um, you don't want to feel that you're a nuisance to the person or that you're begging the person. What you want to feel is that you're helping that person in some way. Become a consultant to them. Some techniques that I've used to follow up in the past, uh, this is back in the days when we used fax machines, but that was that whenever I came across an article or something that I felt would be of benefit to the person that I was dealing with, I would just put a quick note on it and send, it, send a fax over. You can do the same thing through email or anything else, where I'm saying to the person, you are important, you are on my mind, I found something that may be helpful to you, I'm sending it over to you. And I'm not saying I want you to do business with me. I'm just saying I am a useful person for you to know. And so as you do that, you're on this person's mind, and in the future, when you are more specifically following up about business, well, then that person will have a better feeling toward you. And in fact, it may not be necessary for you to take that initial step. If you remain on the person's mind, and if they feel that you're somebody that they like to be with, that it's useful for them to know, when they're looking at a copy machine or whatever it is that you're trying to sell to them, you will be the one that's on their mind that they'll call first.